It was loud, it was rebellious, and in 1966, the British government banned rock and roll on the radio. That's the whole point of being the government. If you don't like something, you simply make it illegal. Until one American DJ... I don't give a hoot nanny about your limey laws. He's possibly the most famous broadcaster ever. And a band of renegades... You must be the count! I am he. Take me to a microphone. ...launched a radio station on the high seas... We should have set sail years ago. ...and raided the airwaves. Let's have a tune. I'm sick of this silence. I'm the count. You are listening to Radio Rock as we count down to ecstasy. Rock on! Are you doing something dirty? <laughs> and that was for Erica. <laughs> They had millions of fans. A nice young man has lost his virginity. A boat full of treasure. Busy day. <laughs> and the full attention. Pirate radio. Of the authorities. That will soon be the first person cursed on rock and roll radio. Here it comes. Shut that filth off. Oh, we're going to shut them down. They can't close us down. We're pirates. They will find a way. Governments loathe people being free. This fall, experience a comedy. Our heroic disc jockeys become dangerous criminals. About the untold story. The declaring war. Of the motley crew that saved rock and roll. This is a trick. We've got the wrong damn boat. Spectacular mistake. From the creator of Four Weddings and a Funeral. These are the best days of our lives. And Love Actually. They will come after us. Let them try. I intend to broadcast from this ship until the day I die. And for a couple days after that. Academy Award winner Philip Seymour Hoffman, Bill Nye, Risa Fong, Nick Frost, and Kenneth Branagh. Young men and young women will always dream dreams and put those dreams in the song. Pirate Radio. Let's rock! Us! Us! Twack! Us! Don't know what that means. I didn't understand any of that.